Here's an amazing secret. So delicious, so amazing. Cold Butterfinger, Cold Mountain Dew. Enjoy. So, this is the Kaba Barrage Shenron deck that you guys saw in that video. Um, once again, I apologize for my misplays and cheating, but it is what it is. So Shenron's a very powerful leader, makes any deck viable or even possibly good, basically easy mode. So to start the, off the effect, uh, this card can attack, both sides, same thing. Switch this card to rest mode, choose up to two Dragon Balls from your deck and or life, add them to your hand, when you have seven Dragon Balls, flip this bad boy over, and you get Desire card from your discard, which is really cool. But we won't really be taking, uh, taking advantage of the Desire with this deck, because Desire cards don't really help you out. Now, flipping over. Um, still can't attack, as I said before. You get three effects, uh, choose one of them once per turn. Draw one card, choose the desired card from your hand, and get a free cast of it, and then remove seven Dragon Balls, and select the creature, gains 10,000 power and triple attack. Um, the main effect we're going to be using is to draw one, and then by turn three, maybe turn four, we will be dropping the effect and getting our Kaba triple attack with uh, 10,000 bonus power. So here we go, we have uh, four Sensu Beans and four Dependable Mombomas. These cards are very important to keep in your hand, get them as fast as possible, because these are your main buff cards. Since these cards last for the duration of the turn, each attack makes Kaba incredibly powerful. You can easily be swinging them out at like, going from like 50, 60, 70, 80, just so many, power, so many attacks. And these cards, uh, the Dependable Mom draw you a card, and the Sensu Beans on tap mana, because um, I'll get closer to the Bulma. Switch this card to Rest Mode, draw one card, then choose up to one of your battle cards, and it gains 5,000 for in the turn. Since we're attacking three times with Kaba, and his effect is triggering, it's so much stacking power making Kaba, you don't need to combo off the first couple of attacks. And then for Sensu Beans, it allows you to play some more threats uh, to combo with, or to do some other cool tricks. Getting to the next set of cards, you notice we play two Raging Kabas from set one and the four Saiyan Kabas. So, getting to the Kabas effect, uh, when this card attacks, you may choose one card in your life, add it to your hand. If you do so, this card gains 10,000 double strike for the duration of the turn. So, that double strike doesn't super matter because we're using this effect three times, but that 10,000 keeps stacking. So, first swing, he's 25 because of 10 off Shenron and 10 off him. And 35, 45, that's without any Bulmas or any Sensu Beans, so it's very powerful. Next, if for some reason our attack fails after we swing so many times with Kaba, we have Raging Kaba, because Raging Kaba only costs 3 mana, and we're playing so many Sensu Beans and so many other cards that don't really tap mana, and we have so many cards in your hand, your opponent honestly should have nothing left. If they survive the third attack of Kaba, they should honestly have virtually no hand. And this Kaba keeps all that power from before, making this double strike pretty much a guaranteed kill. I've never had to use the Raging Kaba for the kill, but you know, just in case. So if you notice, we are playing eight super combos, four Unbreakable Super Saiyan Gokus, and four the Temporal Rescue Trunks. So this is, allows us to draw cards and increase our attacks by 10,000. Usually use them offensively, but sometimes you need them to be a little more aggressive. Getting to our black creatures, we run two of the Shenron Figure of Majesty, um, this creature cannot attack, sparking 5, um, choose up to 2 of your energy and uh, switch him to active mode, revive a battle card of 2 or less, and grant a creature 5k and critical. So for some reason we can't get the kill on turn 3, um, Shenron would be our turn 5 kill as long as with the Beyond Darkness Demigra. Sometimes we have to push for our kill on turn 4, but usually our turn we have 3 cards that can get us the turn 5 kill guaranteed most likely. Because even if they, like, unless they use time magic, then if they use time magic, they use time magic, nothing you can do about it. Uh, next we have is two Dendes. We only run two just in case uh, we don't draw the right cards we need or your opponent's ramping super fast. Dendes there. Plus it's also a turn one draw along with Kami. Um, you don't really care about your opponent's board, but they're just in case you need to break your opponent's board for some reason. And if we only have one Kami, because we need to bring it back with our wish cards. So to make it really powerful because um, we run a lot of black cards, so it's really easy to pull off his effect even after you use Shenron's Wish. When this card attacks, your opponent reveals their hand, choose up to four battle cards from it, and combo with them in, from, in your combo era. So basically you just rip four cards of your opponent's hand for the attack, which is very nice if you need to use Demigra as your way to win. And that triple strike is pretty nice. 
For our Dragon Balls, we run six zero uh, star Dragon Balls and then one one star. Uh, we run six of the zeros because they're easy draws and then free draws. The one star that we can use on turn one if we don't have another turn one play. Usually around turn two, sometimes turn uh, usually one or two. You don't have you may not have the right card you have starting out with that you need. And so a one star is a free card that you can draw. Since something to discard like a wish card, desire card that you don't plan on using, and then you get right back with Shenron. So. Um, you can just do all the zero ones you want to or put an extra one star. I just use this as a good ratio for myself. So we run three uh, Dragon Radars. The Dragon Radar is really good because you can look top seven cards of your deck and get up to two Dragon Balls and or Desire card, which is really nice. And the other effect is you can select up to two um, wish card, or Desire cards and or Dragon Balls. So it's really nice one mana to draw two or grab your child's wish or your Olong's wish. I ran out of one Olong's wish because it's a red card. Um, I need red and I also want to have a desire card just in case I need to. It will allow you to kill your opponent's um, cre uh, cards that will prevent you from attacking. So the minus 5k is an instant kill to that. And it lets you just draw one. Um, you'll notice that I also run two M2 planets, uh, planet M2s. If you want to run three Olong's wish, you can. It's up to you. Um, I run the M2 planets because they're nice for attacking, and they also allow me to kill creatures that I need to kill. So it has a little more versatility in battle. My long as wishes, yeah, it minus something 5k, but realistically, that's never really going to matter. Um, two child's wishes because we run Go Tanks and Gohans. Uh, they're very strong uh, three drops that allow you to draw more cards, and uh, that critical is really nice to really hurt your opponent. So we run three burst stack uh, Sun Gohans and two quick thinking Go Tanks. Um, this is very powerful because um, if for some reason you go against a hand control deck, for instance, um, Cell or anything that blows up your hand, Gohan's really strong, or Direct that you can charge, uh, allows you to get your hand back so you, uh, even if you get Cell chained or your hand gets blown up, you can still effectively push for the win on the correct turn. Uh, two quick and go, uh, thinking Go Tanks because they're blue. Uh, they draw a card and they're critical. Um, they meet the requirement for Child's Wish. Really strong card, or you can just charge if you need to. So to finish off the deck, we run two Weezy Coercions and two M2 Planets. Um, you notice we don't run a lot of blue in this deck, because we really only need to pull uh, Sensu Bean. Since we draw so much, we're going to hit our blues. But if you want to swap out some more card, like, uh, the Gohans or the Go Tanks for more blue cards, we can. Which card is really nice, because it allows you to negate attack and then keep an energy open. M2 is really nice as I explained, it allows you to kill things that are going to stop you from attacking, uh, 5k creatures off your opponent's board, or it's a free combo card in your turn, which is really nice. Hope you guys like the deck, um, we're going to be giving away the Sensu Beans this week, uh, when I open my boxes for um, the new set coming out, I will be revealing who wins the Sensu Beans. Um, I'll explain pretty easy, um, I'll do a, just generate a random, uh, do number random generator based on how many comments are there. If it hits my name, I'll just go one up. Um, I'll notify the person, I'll give them one week to notify, and if for some reason they do not respond to me within a week, I will give the next, uh, the next person that I generated the number to based on their comment one week, and we'll keep going through until we find someone to give the sense of means to. So just don't forget, the video will be in the description of this. Like, comment, and subscribe, and you guys have a great day.